Okay, so today I'm going to make a, a what they call a hot knife. Uh, it's to cut through plastic. You can buy these commercially. And I thought about just buying one. But I've got a couple extra soldering irons that I don't use. So I'm going to attempt to make a hot knife with one of these to see how it works. If it doesn't work that good, I'll just buy one. But uh, basically what I'm going to do, this takes quarter inch uh, soldering iron tips. So that's a quarter inch hole. It's got a set screw. Hopefully you can see that. Um, it's got a set screw right there. You just tighten it up. This is uh, 5 16 steel uh, bar. I don't have, I'd rather, I'd like to use copper, but I don't have quarter inch or 5 16 copper. I'd like, I'd like to have a little shoulder on it, so that whenever I stick it in this hole, it's got a shoulder to bottom out on it. I'll show you that whenever I uh, get finished machining this. I'm not going to show the machining, because basically all I'm going to do, I'm just going to machine this 5 16 rod down to quarter inch. I'm going to part it off, leaving a little uh, shoulder, and then I'm going to cut a slit in it with a slitting saw, um, which I've got set up right here. I may show that. Um, and then, it, what's, what it's going to take is a uh, X-Acto knife blade. It's 20 thousandths thick. That slitting saw is 20 thousandths thick. Uh, the standard size of this uh, back piece that slides into the regular X-Acto knife body is quarter inch so it actually already slides into the soldering iron so basically all I'm doing is making a little adapter with a slit in it that will slide into the soldering iron, soldering iron and then this will slide, slide in tighten up that set screw hopefully it pinches it tight enough um, to basically transfer the heat into this blade and hopefully it will cut plastic nice and clean uh, and we're going to find out if, if it works like that so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to turn this down a little bit to quarter inch so it'll slide into the uh, soldering iron whenever I go to the slitting side of it um, I'll, I'll show you that uh, uh, and then we'll, we'll go from I'll stick this in we'll get it tightened up and we're, we're going to see if this thing even works be back Okay, a couple minutes later, this is what I've got out of the lathe, and what's going to happen is this is going to fit right in there like that. I'll slit it, then the X-Acto knife blade will go in, and then uh, hopefully it'll get hot. This is a 40 watt soldering iron by the way they also make a 60 watt and a 20 watt so hopefully this gets hot enough to, to do what I need it to do I've actually got a pro the reason I'm doing this is I've got a project that I'm gonna have to use a hot knife for and I don't know how thick the blades are on a regular hot knife but I need this to be as thin as possible and I thought it, uh, I thought that an exacto knife blade would be perfect so what it is, I measured it, it was 20 thousandths, and I actually ordered the slit. Slitting saw uh, just for this project. That's 20, I've got, I've got a handful of slitting saws, but all of them are thicker than this. So I needed the closest, you know, that I can get to uh, 20 thousandths. And this is exactly a 20 thousandths slitting saw. So we're going to see how this works. So let me get set up here. I'm going to get this mounted up in the vise, and then uh, we'll press on. Okay, so right now the slitting saw is right at the center. Let me take that back. The, the center of the slitting saw is at the edge, the top edge of the uh, stock here. So I came down, used a just a piece of paper. The slitting saw is pretty flimsy. I mean, it flexes pretty good, so you got to be careful. But I come down, used a piece of paper, paper till it just rubbed. The paper is about three thousandths thick. Pulled the paper out, went down about two more thousandths. 
um, and then I brought the then I locked the quill and then I brought the knee up ten thousandths which is half the thickness of the uh, slitting saw slitting saw is twenty thousandths so uh, if you divide five sixteenths which is point three one two five in half that's about a hundred fifty six thousandths that I want to bring the knee up and that should put us right dead center where we need and then we'll uh, we'll get this thing slit and see how it works so I'm gonna come on up there's hundred thousandths 30 40 there's 50 55 56 thousandths that should be it's hard for me to get the camera in there but should be at least from my angle dead center so let's fire this puppy up and uh, see how this thing's going to work a little fast of course, you, of course you know that you always want to turn the slitting saw pretty slow Just about to the vice. find my uh, blade that I just had and we'll see if it fits all right stand by let me find my blade okay found my blade let's get the uh, quill up and out of our way let's see if this is gonna fit Yeah, perfect fit. Okay. Okay, let me get this thing set up in here and I'll come back. I, get, I need both hands. Just to show you how fine that cut is, that's the thinnest cut with a sling saw I've ever made. But it did it, good. I mean, that is a super fine cut. Alright. Okay, got it in there. Got it tight. So. Okay, gonna plug it in and we'll let it heat up. And I'll be back. I'll find a piece of plastic. We'll see how it cuts. Okay. Starting to heat up. So we're gonna see if this thing will cut. 
I'll start out on the tip first. I don't know if the tip's going to be hot enough or not, but as uh, bluish as the root of it is becoming, I'd have to say that's got to be hot. Now this is a piece of uh, Lexan, so I don't know. It's it's typically more uh, heat resistant than ABS, which is what I'm going to be using this for. But we'll see how it does on on Lexan. It taken a little effort, but it got through a little bit. It's, there we go. And I don't know if it's fully heated or not. I cut through it. Yep, I think that's going to work. So the question I've got, let's see how thin of a, because the reason I needed a thin blade is to keep, uh, yeah, that's going to work perfect. Nice thin. Nice thin cut. Not, not real thick. And I'm actually going to make a video as to what this is going to be used for. Anyway, improvised uh, hot knife. Using an X-Acto blade and an extra soldering iron that I had laying around. That's all I got.